The following is an installation overview of Real Wheels American Made Universal Simulators with our adjustable ring mounting system. This system can adjust for both the bolt circle and the wheel depth, making it truly universal. In addition to this video, be sure to understand and follow the printed instructions that came with your simulator. The mounting ring brackets are preset at the factory to a 7 inch bolt circle. If this 7 inch setting does not line up with your axle bolt circle, loosen the nuts on the back of the mounting ring with a half inch wrench. The bolt circle can be adjusted from 5 and a quarter inch to 7 and a quarter inch. Be sure to adjust each side equally. Once the correct adjustment is determined, retighten all the nuts securely. The height of the slide brackets can be adjusted to increase or decrease the height of the ring bracket. With a 7 16 wrench, simply loosen, remove, and reposition the two caps nuts in the sides of each bracket to the set holes that best accommodate your wheel. Please note, you will only need to perform this step if the square will not level to the wheel rim and ring bracket when adjusting the ring bracket height in the subsequent steps. You will need to install the air valve extensions prior to installing the ring bracket. Follow the printed instructions or see our air valve installation video. Before removing any axle nuts, hold the ring bracket up to the axle end and rotate to determine the optimal position of the ring bracket in relation to the air valve extensions. Verify that the air valve extensions will reach the air valve tabs without stretching or crimping. Please note, if needed, one of the air valve tabs can be relocated to an alternate position to better accommodate the air valve extensions. Now remove the two axle nuts that you identified. Place the ring bracket over the axle so the exposed axle studs pass through the holes of the slide brackets. Replace the two axle nuts and tighten them securely. The slide brackets are factory shipped semi-tight. If needed, loosen the caps nuts slightly to enable the slide brackets to move in the slots. Using the adjustment square provided, rest the narrow end of the square against the wheel rim and the notched end of the square against the face and the inner radius of the ring bracket. The extended part of the notch should set along the inner edge of the ring bracket as shown. Position the square on both sides of the slide brackets, then all around the ring bracket. Adjust the ring bracket up or down until the entire ring bracket is level with the square. Then tighten the two caps nuts on each bracket securely. If needed, you can adjust the height of the slide bracket as described at the beginning of this video. Please note, using the adjustment square properly will provide approximately a 3 16 inch gap between the ring bracket top plate and the back of the 7 inch deep wheel simulator. Begin by loosening the two nuts on the braided stainless steel air valve extensions so they have a space between them. The split lock washer should be on the bottom nut. Then place one of the extensions into the slot of the air valve tab. Next, using two 7 16 inch wrenches, tighten the two nuts onto the air valve tab. Repeat the process for the other air valve tab. Align the holes in the simulator with the holes in the bracket. Make sure the simulator is held up and evenly spaced around the rim edge. The simulator should seat on the edge of the wheel rim with no gaps between the edge of the wheel rim and the wheel simulator. Please note, as you look through the bolt holes, it is very important that there is a 1 8 inch minimum gap up to a quarter inch maximum gap between the back of the wheel simulator and the ring bracket top plate. This gap allows for the simulator to be drawn down to the bracket, ensuring proper and secure installation. You may need to readjust the bracket top plate to achieve the desired gap. Now thread the two bolts with star washers through the simulator and into the bracket holes. Then using a Phillips head screwdriver, securely tighten the bolts. Repeat for the remaining wheel and you're finished. After installation, keep the adjustment square in a safe place for future use when reinstalling the bracket and simulator. 
Again, be sure to understand and follow the printed instructions that came with your simulator. If you have any additional questions, give us a call at 1-800-982-1180.